Hey, what's up everyone? This is Silver Slayer and welcome to my daily 10 a.m. video. Thank you for tuning in. Now this is probably one of the first questions every silver stacker asks themselves or wonders about is how much is enough? How much do I need? And it's such a broad question, such an open-ended question with really no right or wrong answer. I want to talk about it because it's a very individualized type of answer. It depends how long you're going to be stacking, how much silver you're buying, and how often, and what your goals are, what your financial situation is. So hopefully by the end of this video, you'll have a better idea, a better type of, of goal or number to look at. And, and that's because when we're looking at stacking, it's very hard to judge when we're going to exit. You know, are we going to sell at $50? Are we going to sell at $500? Are you going to sell in five years? Are you going to sell in 20 years and 30 years? Never going to sell. So it's really, uh, a, a, it, it's a very interesting type of thing to look at, but I do want to look at it. And I actually found a post on goldforum.kitco.com and a lot of different people give a lot of different answers. And I covered a video like this um, probably a month or two ago, but nobody gave real numbers. It was all, you know, it, it was all those types of answers. Oh, but nobody actually gave, you know, 100 ounces or 500 or what, you know, and, and it, was, it wasn't really a video that, that covered it the way I wanted to. I wanted people to really talk about ounces, how much they think, and, and this video does that. So I think this is going to be a much better video um, then the last one is going to show a lot more context and I think it's going to really help us to the point or get, you know, at least get the, the type of response out that I wanted from people. And I would love for you to participate as well in this video. Let me know what you think the average or enough silver is to be quote unquote secure or comfortable because I'm sure a lot of people wonder, you know, I mean, a lot of times you can go by goals, right? The most stackers first goal is a hundred ounces and then maybe make your next goal 500 ounces. And then we could talk about what compared to, to gold, right? You could do every hundred ounces of silver, accumulate a half ounce of gold or a 10th ounce of gold, however you want to do it. Or you could add no gold. It's just, I do want to get the conversation going to get your minds, you know, going and, and really just spark this and even just watching these videos it definitely helps right i mean you're, you even if you're just watching it and it sub subconsciously you're thinking about this stuff which is then preparing you so trying to look at the person that never watches this video or never watches any type of youtube content versus or comparing to you that is watching this video right now who do you think is going to have the more successful outcome you are so i do appreciate you for watching these videos and you really are helping yourself even if you don't realize it so uh, how much silver do you think the average stacker has and, and this is interesting because he's talking about has but then they do turn it into how much should you have so let's look into this the question is near impossible to answer because it depends on age income length time of stack and that's kind of what i was talking about so he's saying the average Joe would probably have some sold around on his, have sold or all of his stack on occasion. He probably buys a little silver here and there rather than buying large monster boxes. So um, blah, blah, blah. Probably does not have enough income to risk any more than 5-10% of his total earnings. He says the average Joe probably has under 500 ounces if he's between the age 25 to 35. Right, and then 35 to 50, well over a thousand. 50 and above, probably getting into the thousand. And I mean, it depends when you started stacking. It doesn't just go off age. It really doesn't go off age because I'm sure a lot of you that are 35, 40 years old just got into stacking now from the Wall Street silver thing, right? Coming over from stocks. Or maybe you're someone that's 50 and above. Instead of probably having thousands, maybe you just wanted to put some type of retirement fund together or, or pass it down to your kids and grandkids. I mean, it really, it, it's, it, it, you can't really base it off that, right? But 
you know, I'm 29 years old and I've been stacking for six years where he's probably thinking, you know, 20, you know, when, when you're 21, 22, you don't even know about silver yet, right? Because he starts it at 25. So it really is different. Every situation is different, but that's not even really the point of this video, right? So a thousand ounces is well over 1300 silver dollars. Does an average AG stacker have this much? Maybe, but I wonder. So I'm going with under 500 ounces. And ounces and probably around 100 ounces and and that's probably what I would probably say the average stacker has around 100 to 200 ounces I mean when you look at full stack videos on YouTube when you look at unboxings when you look at everything it's usually around 100 to 300 ounces now obviously you're gonna see some people like silver slacker that has thousands of ounces and posts unboxings with you know unboxing thousands of ounces in one video but I definitely think the average person has around a hundred to three hundred ounces maybe a little more uh, but the people that are stacking heavy like heavy heavy they don't they're, they're not very active because they know how serious the risk is a lot of these people aren't going to you know talk about silver publicly that much they're more quiet and and, and for obvious reasons. Now, this person says less than 1% of the population stacks silver, and that is true. That's why Wall Street Silver's motto is we are the 0.999% because literally less than 1% have silver. Forget the stackers on YouTube. Those idiots are in need of dire attention to post videos like that. <laughs> uh, I like those rappers that run around throwing $100 bills every year. That's hilarious. You know, those idiot, those silver, the, 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 the stackers on YouTube are idiots, right? Um, we're just in dire, we're needed of dire tension, right? We're not just trying to educate people on the silver stacking world and help people, you know? It's all about attention, right? So anyways, um, this person goes on to say, I don't know any real stackers personally, not counting on you guys, of course, uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, silver dollar AC, nothing serious. Uh, he says, I do believe that actual stackers are a very rare breed, which we are. Uh, so, stacker carry a poll here. That would be cool if you did if we did a poll. On, you know, it sucks that YouTube doesn't allow polls on videos anymore. They only allow polls on live streams, which kind of sucks. Or a post. I could do a post asking. And a lot of you probably don't want to. It's kind of a personal question. Um, you know, a lot of people probably wouldn't feel comfortable answering that for a lot of different reasons but you know it would it definitely piques my interest so um he says personally i possess around seven eight hundred ounces and not a speck of gold and that's that is that's a interesting thing to have that much silver but not own any gold at all so we're saying he said this person says since we're talking about the average stacker i would say around 500 ounces um and here's a good, I like how he does the ratio, so no idea or need to know, that's true. The guesses would be higher on this form than in reality, exactly, uh, because those that post here are obsessed with precious metals for the most part. Personally, I like to maintain a 20 to 1 AG to AU ratio, which is, you know, which is nice. I, I definitely, and, and this is a good ratio, right? Every thousand ounces of silver, you know, 50 ounces of gold. That's pretty high. Um, usually, I would say, well, it depends. It depends how much you like silver. If you do believe in gold, most people, I would say, every hundred ounces of silver they get, they they accumulate maybe a half ounce of gold. Some an ounce of gold. Every hundred ounces they accumulate an ounce of gold. That's that's that, that ounce of gold is worth basically as you know. I mean, it really. It really does depend. So, um, let's go to page two. So, let's look. Um, I don't know about many of us being stackers. Seems like we talk about being a stacker. Um, stacker, I'll be buying coins, coast to spot. And that's another, tr I want to, I want to. I do want to stop right here for a second. 
silver quote unquote stackers are mostly seen as people like your local coin shop that just want silver as silver, right? Stackers aren't collectors. Stackers are the people that usually pour silver, buy a lot of poured silver, um, buy junk silver, coin roll hunt, um, people that buy a lot of American Eagles. Stackers don't really mess with the higher premium type of silver, but that's that's all generalized. That's stereotypical. I consider myself a silver stacker, and I like pandas, you know, but there is a lot of gray area when it goes into coin collectors because look at the word semi-numismatic. That's contradicting within itself, right? Semi-numismatic means it's a coin that is sold as numismatic value but also sold as bullion. So it is sold for the one ounce inside of it but also a little bit of collectability, right? I mean, it's 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 a very gray area. So I, I don't want to stereotype. I think silver stackers are people that buy silver. And, and if you like high premium silver and willing to take that risk, then you do. But regardless, if you pay more for a coin or less, shouldn't mean you're a silver stacker or not. So anyways, um, I, I would, I do want to go into, um, and this is a good, this is a good point right here. Wow. Really good. Before I, I mention what I was about to say, here's a really good point. I would think the average stack would have a hard time uh, concealing over a thousand ounces. When it gets to that point, wouldn't gold be better? And and this is what I always mention. This is the one. This is the one reason why I think gold has something on silver. Right? Gold has one benefit that silver doesn't, and that is you can fit a hundred thousand dollars worth of gold in a shoebox. You can't do that with silver. So like this guy says, when it gets to the point when you have thousands of ounces and you're investing that much money, gold definitely has a place in your portfolio. Because when it gets to that to that amount, it's extremely hard to store silver to that point. And gold would be the way to go just to make your stack or your storage space um, more accessible and more convenient. I mean, that, that only makes sense, right? But like he says, maybe in the countryside, some amounts are easy to store, but in not not in urban areas, right? Monster boxes hold 500 ounces. That's enough to change in my view. And if I want to diversify, platinum is a way. And except to have smaller change in SHTF, uh, silver is not, it, it, silver just not precious enough to be worth space it takes up. For investing in silver, don't see why don't see why get physical if it's about buying and selling large amounts so everybody, that's not see i agreed with the first point but i do not agree with anything else he said after that why if you're talking about he says he says don't see why get the physical the whole reason is because if you can't buy it you don't own don't own it if you can't hold it you don't own it i mean that's that's silly to say. I mean, he made a good point in the beginning, but at the end, I just, I didn't really see it. Stacking isn't the normal, right? And that's definitely true. And stacking is by far not even the norm of even the minority. But you got to remember, the, this forum, all these comments I've, I've read so far today were written in 2016, right? Even about the guy talking about the silver YouTubers, that was written in 2016, and silver the silver YouTube community was much different in 2016. So I almost could see what he meant. A lot of the people, so actually the the guy that said the thing about um, the YouTubers, um, I actually now that I think about it, see this was written 8 24 2016. Um, I actually could agree with them more. Because back then, people weren't making educational stacking videos like we do now. It was all just people showing off a huge stack or their full stack video, and that was it. They would have like one one or two videos on their channel or maybe post every couple of months of just a massive amount of silver, almost trying to show it off. And that's what he even says, kind of like those rappers that run around throwing $100 bills. They weren't making any type of educational content. They weren't talking about any of the stuff we are today. They were just showing off their silver, almost like just trying to show off. So that does make sense. At first, I kind of read this wrong. 
I guess because I didn't look at the date, but it definitely was like that. And I actually mentioned that in a video a couple of weeks ago where like uh, Salivate Metal, Silver Slacker, me, Junius Malt B, Shadow Stack, we were like the OGs. Like we were the original YouTube, silver YouTubers that actually started making like content like you see nowadays, right? Like um, Silver Stacking for Beginners or long term versus short like all that stuff started in our area and in, in our era from like salivate metal and and you know me like we were the ones that started that and before us it was like this you would see just some random rich dude just post a whole crap load of silver he didn't talk about the benefits he didn't talk about any educational stuff he was kind of just showing off so i do see what he meant by that comment i guess um but yeah, so I mean I get what they're saying in this. I do want to talk a little bit on my side. So we're going to do some math real quick. Let me bust out my phone. So let's do this. So let's say you have 100 ounces and silver gets to $50. So that's $5,000. Right? So 100 ounces isn't going to be life-changing amounts of money if you sell at 50. And we'll do $50 because silver's hit $50. No, we'll do 100, okay? We'll do 100 because that is a price that is definitely possible and that's a price that a lot, I think a lot of people would be willing to sell at. $50 I not so much. So we'll do 100. So you know, if you have 100 ounces and obviously silver gets to $100, that's $10,000. So let's say you have 500 ounces and silver hits $100, that's $50,000, right? That's definitely not life-changing money, but that's that, that could be a very good investment, especially because 500 ounces isn't insane to, to accumulate. Let's see how much 500 ounces is at $26 an ounce. So that's thirteen thousand dollars, and you'll be making, you know, you you'll be making fifty thousand back. So yeah, that's a definitely a good investment if you're buying at twenty six right now. Let's say you have a thousand ounces, and you sell at a hundred dollars. That's a hundred thousand dollars. That could be life changing money to some people, especially if you reinvest into other things and profit from that. And then let's say a thousand ounces and how much that would cost at twenty six dollars, twenty six thousand dollars, which you would be turning into a hundred thousand dollars. So you can see how you know how much potential is here. And obviously it's hard to tell when the right time to sell is. You know, just like I actually was covering articles back in twenty eleven when silver was fifty dollars what were people talking about what were the articles like back then what, what were they saying about silver were they extremely bullish what what were they thinking were they selling no and most people didn't sell at fifty dollars right in 2011 you would say yeah i would have sold then but most people thought it was going to go higher they, they thought it was going to go to 100 so most people even though they could have made a killing selling at 50 None of them sold at 50 and then it crashed back down and they missed their opportunity. And now even a decade later, they still haven't had that chance to sell at 50 again. So you can see why sometimes it is good to sell some of the tops. But when are you going to know what the right time to sell is? Right. That's the hardest part. That's why I also say never sell at once. Don't sell your entire stack at once. You can sell 5-10%, keep a keen and watchful eye over the market, and then, you know, if it's looking like maybe it's going to go up, then you know, or down, you can, you can debate, but you never want to peg your entire stack to one price, because what if, what if you do sell at $100, and you get that, 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 that $10,000, but then within a, a couple months, maybe a couple years, then it goes to three four hundred $400, then you could have quadrupled your money just by being a little more patient you never want to sell all at once because who knows where silver's true value could go and when you peg your entire stack to that price that's game over unless 
you do use that money, then you have to rebuy silver at an extremely high price. We're talking about two, three, four hundred dollars. So, I mean, it's just not a smart idea unless you would reinvest the profits into something else. That is a ticking time bomb. But at the end of the day, we all know what real money is. We all know what fake money is. And that's a whole nother video itself is, are you going to transfer the real money back into fake money? I mean, it's, it's just a very, it's a very complex thing to talk about when we're talking about selling. But, you know, the whole point of this video is how much is enough. And if you're looking at the numbers I just calculated, it's looking like having a thousand ounces and selling at a hundred dollars, you know, it would be the only way to make some actual, like, quote unquote, good money, which would be a hundred thousand dollars. If you make five thousand dollars and you're younger, that's great, but most people that's not much. I mean, fifty thousand dollars, that's that's a good amount. You know, that's a good amount. That's a good return, especially from only spending thirteen thousand. That's a good, you know, that's that's a very good return on investment. So it just depends on your goals, how much you want to make, right? Because some people, 50000 is is incredible. Some people, 50000 isn't really much to them. It just depends on your where you're at, you know, in your point of life, um, you know, what what type of goals you have, everything like that. So, yeah. So hopefully, depending upon your age or depending upon what type of goals you have you kind of get a better understanding of how much silver you need if you really want to make some good money then a thousand ounces and not selling until a hundred dollars would be the way to go but maybe if you're a younger kid and you can only accumulate you know a couple hundred ounces then you still know you can make some good money as long as you sell at the right time so yeah i hope this video helped i hope you have a better idea of how much you need now uh, because we did the calculations and you have a better picture because a lot of times we don't think about that and I haven't even really thought about that until I just did the numbers myself to really get an idea of what you really need to make some real profits so yeah I'm gonna wrap this video up here if you thought this video was educational informational at least entertaining make sure to smash the like button I post daily videos every single day so yeah stay tuned I'm doing a 48k giveaway make sure you're subscribed you don't want to miss it thanks for tuning in this was Silver Slayer I'll see you guys soon peace